get right into it, I want to show you guys what I was swinging before and what we changed. So first, I had been swinging this old Taylor made Rescue 4 Hybrid with a 21 degree of loft. You know, it's pretty beat up, all scuffed up, old white, regular shaft. Um, so I was out swinging it. My swing speed got way too high for this club. Standard grip in it, but I loved it. You know, a lot of fairways with it, a lot of good memories with this club here. But, uh, you know, we had to move on to bigger and better things. It's only a matter of time. So without further, further ado, I'm going to show you guys what I ended up picking up today. So we're gonna go over here, bring it out. The beautiful new QI-10 tailor-made seven wood is what I went with today. So very similar, uh, actually the same degree of law, but is a seven wood here. I uh, don't really know how well you can see it on camera, but seven wood QI-10, all blacked out. I got my Ventus shaft in it, which I love the brand. Love what they feel. I got stiff in this one. Golf Pride light root grip. Matches my other clubs. I'll show you guys that shortly. So I want to do a, a bag tour, but this is the main goal today. New rescue club. No other further words. I'm going to hit some shots with it uh, tomorrow on the course to get you guys some more of those. Uh, see like sounds, all that stuff. I'm just not doing that in here tonight. But yeah, 7 wood QI-10. Not really much to be said i love the look of it head covers pretty pretty as well i mean you got the silver chrome tailor-made logo qi10 i like how this says x here x now uh, you can see that but it says x on there bent to shaft so we're going to take that out of the bag we're going to insert this one into the bag and now we're on to the bag tour <clears throat> Okay, so we're starting off here. What's in my bag today? First, let's take a look at the bag. We got Titleist white, uh, white on black. You know, you can't beat those colors. Uh, it's kind of dirty, but I don't really know. But it's gonna happen. It's white. Uh, let's see what else I can show. We got some towels here. Vanderbilt flag. Let's go doors, of course. Masters edition, green, white, flip reversible. And this one is a uh, middle school flag. <clears throat> middle school towel I got with my name on it. So I kept those on there. So those are my towels there. White Titleist bag. So that's the bag there. Nothing really much to it. Uh, moving on to the wedges now to start. My 58 and my 54 are matching. I got these for Christmas this year. Uh, I got a 58 with a 10 degree of bounce. Uh, all blacked out. SM9 Bokey wedges, same thing with the 54 right here. Uh, I mean, I love these so far. Wedges is a big part for me. You know, I'm not really the best wedge player, but I've hit these a lot better, and uh, they just added so much diverse and versatility to my game so far, and I love them. So standard shafts in them. I think they're just stiff, uh, stiff shafts for my wedges. Uh, yeah, SM9 Bokeys, 58, 54 degree for both of those matching. Uh, same with the wedges. I play 58, 54, 50. I like to have mine spaced out in four degrees. Uh, so this one's also an SM9, but it's a uh, the silver edition one. 50 degree, same as those other ones, same grip, stiff shaft. I like to hit that one. Uh, very controlled shot with that club. Always finding the green. So now, we get these back in the back here. Moving on to my iron sets. Uh, my four iron through my pitching wedge are all the same, so I'm just going to show one of them. They're all the same, you know. Love it, got it last summer. P770, tailor made, uh, stiff shaft in it. Yeah, stiff, stiff steel shafts and all my four through pitching wedge, the same thing. Uh, these blue golf pride, light blue grips. I got these in every club now, I just love the colors on them. Um, so those are the same in four through pitching wedge and all of that stuff there. P770s, money, money club. So we've gone through 58, 54, pitching wedge, 50 degree, four iron through uh, pitching wedge, yeah. Uh, so now we get into some of the clubs I like to hit. I just showed it, just got it today. QI10, fresh off the shelf, never been hit on a real course before. 
Vintage stiff shaft, seven wood. Same uh, grip as I had in the other ones, the light blue. Love the color, who wouldn't? So we take this bad boy off, get another good look at that there. I mean, is there any more you can really want in a club? All blacked out, QI-10, baby. I'm gonna just let this club speak for itself on the course and I get to debut it. I'm so excited to hit this club. It's gonna give me that, that gap I was missing there earlier. So we got that slotting at our seven wood. Moving on to the five wood now. Uh, we followed up with another tailor-made club here. So basically my whole set is tailor-made besides my driver, which you'll see here after this club, my wedges. But other than that, everything else is tailor-made. So I'm tailor-made, titleless, sponsor me. Uh, so this is the Sim 2 Max, a little older than the QI-10 by two or three years, but still a great club, five wood here, stiff shaft, Ventus once again. Uh, Golf fry grip, not the light blue one, but just white and black. Uh, but yeah, five wood in that. Hit this club amazing, kept it in the bag. So now I have a good gap from seven to five wood and driver. Uh, four iron in there as well, but I just don't really trust it. I'm not really that great with it, so I picked up trusty seven wood today. Now, moving quick, moving fast. We got the TSR, favorite club in the bag. If you play with me, you know how well I hit this club. Bent this shaft in it again, money. Uh, it's worth it to upgrade it to this shaft. If you are considering doing it, I highly suggest it. There's no other shaft that beats it. We got the light blue grip in here again, Golf Pride. Um, I'll show you guys what I got it looked like. I'm playing it at nine degrees right now. Uh, TSR3 is the one I play. I think it's more towards the tour uh, style of head. So it's kind of smaller, less room to miss hit it, but it's really easy to look down at and just trust you're gonna be able to hit a good shot with it. So. I love looking down at this club, matte, I'm not matte, sorry. Gloss black finish, no complaints there. So, the last piece to the set, the most important bag in the set, where you make your money, drive for shows, what I do, but I don't putt for dough, but we will this summer, stay tuned. Putting will be on time. So, this is my Scotty camera that I was luckily gifted from a good friend. Um, he gave this to me and now we got to make it worth it. Scotty Cameron Putter, ordered this head cover for it, T edition. It's got a special little shaft in it for stability. I don't really know what exactly it's for. I haven't got that far into it yet, but who knows? Scotty Cameron Grip, can't beat that right there. Doesn't get too much better. But I play the, uh, the blade style of it. It's the 2023 model, Scotty Cameron Newport. Now you got your red accents on here. Blade style putter. So hopefully it leads us to making some more putts this year. Uh, moving on to what type of glove I play. I guess I can show you guys that. We'll fit this back in the back here. I got some alignment sticks, I'll show that real quick. Head cover's cool, that's about all I really want to show. Full leaf. Things kind of sway. Uh, moving over to my glove here. Every time I get a new glove, I get this white Titleist. I think it's like the Tour Soft one. You guys have all seen this glove before. Can't beat it. Uh, very soft in my hand. Love the way it feels on the club. Then the ball I play, if I'm hitting a new ball, that's not something found. I'm always going Titleist Pro V1X. You're just not beating these balls. You know. And yeah, that's the full 2024 Jackson Burns golf bag setup. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna show you guys some swings tomorrow if I get uh, this camera out. I don't think the place I'm playing has a range, but I definitely wanna get some swings in with this QI. Yeah, I'm just so hyped to hit this club. Spent a lot of money on it, so it's gotta work. It's gotta work, I'm hoping it works. Uh, but yeah, until I get you guys on the range, if not, we'll sign off. If not, I'll show you guys some swings, and yeah, we'll see you there. So now we'll cut to some of those swings I was talking about. So now we'll cut to some of those swings I was talking about earlier and we'll, I'll show you how well I hit this club and what it, what it does. It's game changing, I'm telling you. Just watch, just watch. YouTube, what's going on? So I promised I'd get you guys some swings in with the new seven wood today. We can clean. So we're gonna head over to where I work actually today hit up the range he said I could come out and use it limited ball 
Uh, so we're loading this up. Check out the kicks I got too. We got the Jordan 80 G4s, looking nice. But yeah, on the way to the driving range to get you guys some nice swings with the new seven wood, get you guys up and close with it. Hit let today, uh, let you guys hear the sound of it and how I hit it. So, so yeah, now on to the driving range. Guys, <clears throat> we made it to the course. Nashville Golf and Athletic Club, private. Really good people, really kind people. Really nice facilities. Looks like they spray painted the greens uh, for the winter, but hopefully the weather's getting nicer now, so they'll return to their natural phase. Looks like there's a bunch of stuff going on up there. FedEx truck. So you know what we're doing? We're gonna pull around to the backside. I see my boy Mitch up front. If you work here, you know who that is, the goat. So yeah, let's go up, get our clubs, walk up to the range, and see what this seven was about today. All right, at the range, another beautiful day. A little chilly, but nothing that we're not used to over here range seems to be for i think the i don't know whose tool this is but there's a lot of people out here on the range so we'll see what they're about i think it's some college All right, guys, that was the rain session. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I tried to showcase the seven wood as best as I can, but you know, it's tough. There's a lot of people out there, but I hit it good. Really like the way it sounded, built in my hands, the way it looked and everything. So I love it. Video's coming soon. Uh, thank you guys for all the support so far. Bigger and better things on the way. Peace.